Let's go ahead and look at another accounting cycle question. And in this question, what are some of the requirements for periodic reporting in the accounting cycle? Now, first of all, we learned that we do daily entries and those daily entries are the things, oops, I actually grabbed the wrong pen. And those are our journal entries. We start off with the journal entry, we move to the ledger, after the ledger, we move to the trial balance, and with the trial balance, we add those adjusting entries and we get to the adjusted trial balance, all right? And here we go in the periodic reporting process, do we make entries for errors only? No, we know that there are some requirements that we have to do for the entries in order to post to the trial balance. We know that they're not only errors related, they're required, they're normal, we see them, and they're accruals and deferrals, all right? Make adjusting entries to the balance sheet only. No, remember, whenever we make an entry, we need to make the entry so that it hits the income statement and the balance sheet together, right? One side's gonna be the income statement, and one side is gonna be the balance sheet. Journalize and post adjusting entries? Absolutely, we are definitely going to journalize and post those adjusting journal entries. So we're really looking at letter C for the answer, but let's look at the last one. Prepare an adjusted trial balance. That's perfect, right? But with deferrals only. Nope, we talked about when the cash comes in before the actual events take place, and we talked about when the cash actually comes in, comes in or goes out after the actual entry or actually after the event occurring. So we're gonna have to make sure that we get both the accruals and the deferrals along the way. So if you're starting to understand these questions and you're starting to see where the little tricks are, you're doing a great job. But for this one, we're looking at letter C.